In today's video, we are going to be making a bilge pump out of an old HP printer ink pump. And I'm using a battery and a bottle switch to control it. So, let's see how this works. As a quick little demonstration, I'm going to put this in here where the water comes in, into the cup of water. I'm going to grab these two tubes, which is where the water comes out. I'm going to squirt it into this cup, and I'm going to turn the bilge pump on right now. And as you can see, it is pumping, and that is how this works. So, let's get on with building it. We are part of the way through and it is time for a test. So let's do that. Time to commence the test in three, two, one. Oh, I can see, oh, we're leaking. We are leaking, but the question is whether or not I can push it through the straw all the way. I'm going to pinch it so it doesn't leak as much. So it does work, we're just leaking a lot. So as you can see, whenever I turn this on, we are leaking. And it's a pretty bad leak. So, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. Nothing a little hot glue can't fix. Okay, we have hot glued the problem, so now let's try again, see if it works. I have not tested to see whether or not the hot glue fixed it, so fingers crossed. Let's see how this looks and works. In three, two, one, go. Oh, it's definitely going. But why are there bubbles? I'm going to troubleshoot this and see why there's bubbles because we're not leaking whatsoever. I'll be right back.
Well, it turned out that it was also leaking in the back still, so I hot glued that up, secured the switch more, since it was intermittently failing, and I got ready for another test in three, two, one. No bubbles. It works. We fixed it. Well, now it has bubbles because I just released it and pour this out. There we go. And turn it off. We succeeded. Now all I need to do is cut a hole in here somewhere to wire in this switch. And then it will be finished. Now before we set everything in stone, let's test to see whether or not this works. I got my switch in place. Looks perfect to me. I got it just so a little thread, some of the threads are coming out so that if it does get loose, it won't fall off and I won't lose it. And I'm now going to put this in here. Let's turn it on and see if it works. In three, two, one. Success. So now that we know it works, now all I do have to do is set everything in stone. Well, in this case, hot glue. So let's do that.
Okay, well now that we have set everything with hot glue and got it all secured, now we can put the lid on it. However, I would go to put this lid on and we have a problem. It has a label on it. So now I need to take this label off. Perfect. Now we can take this sticker, throw it away, and put this lid on. And do our final test. Here goes nothing. Nothing. In three, two, one. It works. Awesome. And we have no bubbles, so we have no leaks in here whatsoever. So now, we are finished making this. I will show you what the inside looks like. Now, on the inside, we have... A lot, not much, actually. So there is a battery right here. This came from an airsoft gun. We have our pump from the HP printer. We have our switch that controls everything wired in right here. And then that's basically it, except for the straw that I'm using as the discharge pipe and then the pump, it's, then the tube's coming out for the pump. And that's basically all that's in there. It's not that much. However, it does take five hours to charge once it's dead. But since I'm not using it, the battery, I'm not using it at such a high rate of uh, usage, it will last a long time. So that's a plus. Now all I need to do is clean up. So let's do that. 